<laughs> Boom. Welcome to UAV Target Acquired, the UAV podcast, and that might be a redundant name, so we might change it. Anyway, on the show is me, your host, Raymond. Um, uh, Viv, who does not Hello. have a webcam, and Alex, who also does not have a webcam. And I have a webcam. And oh, what happened there? And there I am. But you can barely see me, so I may as well have not had a <laughs> webcam. He is the shadow. We need a lighting specialist, yeah. obviously. I can turn on. Like I have a TV in front of me. Oh wait, I got. Wait, here we go. I have a flash. Whoa! Ah. There we go. Yeah. Turn it off, this turn is going to kill my battery. Yeah. We can okay. tell ghost stories. Yeah. Anyway, right. let's get on with the show. I suppose... Um, on to the carefully rehearsed <coughs> script. Yeah, I mean, I have no script, so we'll, we'll be generic and say, what's everyone... Let's... First segment, what's everyone been playing? Uh, so... Yeah. Who wants to go first? Dibs I'll not. jump in if you want. Alright, um, I've been playing League of Legends mostly. Um, I'm, it's, it's my thing. Um, what else? I hear, I hear that game's pretty popular. Oh, it is. You know, it's, it's, it's mm. one of the better free-to-play MOBAs out there, so it's... It's popular because you can get into it without putting any money down. So, you know, you just jump in and play with everybody. It, yeah, free to play. It's so free to play. I haven't spent, like, maybe a hundred plus dollars on it. It's free to play. Well, of course. I mean, if you want your <laughs> characters to look fancy or something, you can, uh, you can throw some money at it and make your characters all bling. Yeah, I think I've done that a bit too much. Nah, it's a, it's a, it's a short pit to fall into that one. Yeah. So, Alex, what have you been playing? Well, because I've only got my laptop, which runs Windows XP, has a single For a core, sweeper. and a pretty sweeper. much I've been playing. Nah, what I've been playing is Soldat. Okay, I don't you know, know what that the, is. It's a 2D oh. RAM shooter. You run round on a side-scrolling shooting screen. And you have like a jetpack. It's actually quite. Oh, well I remember that. that, that that's from the the land, eh? Why not, uh, yeah. why not some uh, big some minesweeper? I'm sure oh, there are things to play. Oh, have anything on your phone? That counts. Yeah. I've been playing a great little iOS game called Age of Pirates. It's uh, one of the older sort of grid-based games. You s- sat was around... That a... uh... was, that? Was, that, uh, was that an XBLA game? That sounds... Or was it Age of Booty? I'm not so- sure, like but it's, uh, it's an iOS. I don't know if um, it has a better graphics engine on another like platform, but... But it's a great little iOS game. Everyone should check it out, I think, if you're into that sort of thing. Okay. Also, when I've had uh, the time, I've gotten into playing some Armor 3, which is still in beta, but that's pretty fun. Okay. Well, I've been playing uh, LOL, also. Um, and I've been playing Triple Town, on my phone. That is an addictive game right there. Yeah, I, it's, I don't know, I keep coming back to it, it's just, especially <laughs> since I finally decided that I won't play Candy Crush anymore. So. Oh, you've given up the Candy Crush. Yeah. Did you I, spend I just, money on it? On candy. No, no I didn't. I was quite happy I didn't spend money on it, but I don't know, people stopped playing and I was thinking uh, I might not be able to get more levels and Oh well, man, one of our 
Grass beyond. One of your what? One of our UAV members, uh, Keith, he's uh, in triple digits on the Candy Crush levels there. It's oh, it's really? amazing what kind of level he's up to, man. I just I saw that and I was like, uh, I'm up to level 32. Uh, I give up. <laughs> yeah, I got a friend of mine who's uh, I I'm not sure if he finished the game, but he was on that level's last like that last block of levels, and he was uh, like changing the time and date on his phone to just keep playing. So yeah, I don't know if he ever finished. Because I think it would have taken him like a couple of days to get like one life, but uh, that's dedication right there. Yeah, no, but he just changed the date on his phone. So I I read a uh, article talking about how they monetized it and how you can't be go beyond a certain point without starting to spend money, and then they just make oh, no, it you, you have to spend more and more and more. You you can actually get through the game without spending money. They uh I saw another thing as well. And they they interviewed the people who made it, and they said something. Most people who finish a game, like over fifty percent, have not paid any money. I also think those people are crazy, because that's like the stuff that they throw at you later on is pretty pretty silly. Anyway, actually, anyway, we're talking about smartphone games, so enough Jesus about that. Let's, what are we yeah. casuals? Well, I mean, hardcore triple town, of course, that's all right. But uh, uh, let's move on to the news. Uh, uh, so, Viv, you had news earlier. Yeah. Oh, I see, Red, I see Reddit there. Oh, <laughs> I was just uh, I found the launch trailer for Final Fantasy. Uh, what is that? Fourteen. And um, it didn't look I've very heard a good. Lot of mix- I've heard a lot of mixed things about it. Um, a lot of people saying it's great. The crafting is is in depth and good. Um, some people were complaining that the um, fight mechanics were repetitive and boring, but they all seem to agree that the boss fights and the raids are really interesting and and keep you going. So, if you're a raider, I probably give it a thumbs up. Um, if you're a solower, probably not so good. It'd probably be more like a normal MMO for you. But um, do you, yeah, do you know what the gameplay is like? I haven't actually played it myself. Is it like WoW? Well? Um, yeah. Oh. Uh, I th- it's more Guild Warsy. There's a lot more emphasis on looks. <laughs> um, you know, it's it's one of those. Uh, Sort of Asian background games, so everything's flashy and sparkly. Um, but I haven't actually played it myself, so I can't give any first-hand experience. Okay, yeah, I've heard of. Um, I mean, I've heard a little bit about it, but I, I remember when the game first came out, and it just looked really bad. So I just have not been paying attention to that. Yeah, if you've if you've already bought a uh, if you've got a account from the original um, they give you a 14 day free trial that you can play before you need to sub or not um, because it's a full remake of the original um, game they put out a year ago Um, people were just so upset with it that they took it back and did a full overhaul on it Hmm. well we'll see what happens to that yeah, it's, it's definitely good to keep on our radar. And there's oh, yeah, also the League of Legends news. <laughs> you, you're very happy to know about that League of Legends news, aren't you? Yeah, it's like I, I'm in bronze, so all I'm going to get is a stupid summoner icon. You'll get a little yeah. bronze you know, outline around yeah. you in the loading screen. Everyone will know you're bronze. Yeah. Well, actually, I haven't played ranked in quite a lot since uh, since I switched from US, so maybe I have time to at least try to get silver, get that ward skin. I'm a support. I play support mostly, so I'll actually see it. Uh, 
Uh, how about that? Uh, the leakage of the um, Grand Theft Auto video. They uh, did you hear about what happened to that? I know that the pre-order was up and that people extracted audio and the soundtrack, but I think people got like the web got like commercials from it. I haven't actually seen. <laughs> so so what happened right was. Um, for everyone who pre-ordered, they got to preload their game on their console. Um, so what happened is, is Sony made a bit of a faux pas on that and put the preloading out two weeks before the game actually went live. And um, a couple of people thought it would be a fun idea to preload it and then start cracking down through the code. And they managed to upload the ending scene for the entire game, so well, it the... spoiled it for a lot of people. Um, there was uh, Why would quite you watch a. Watch it though. <laughs> someone I don't scene. know. Or I don't know the specifics. All I know is they managed to extract the ending scene out of the game, and um, the cinematic was uh, YouTubed. <laughs> So, uh, oh man, Sony. Like, I, um, I knew Sony about the took, audio. Uh, <clears throat> Sony took um, quite a step back to that one. Big apologies all around. Good on you, Sony. <laughs> Another black mark. I, I knew guys. about. The, yeah. I I knew about the uh, and the music, but I didn't know the actual the game, like the ending cinematic. That's pretty. That's pretty major. It's definitely a major because I mean, for those people that have seen it, or for even the, uh, for even Rockstar themselves, you know, to know that the game's been spoiled without a single person playing it yet has got to be, got to be sad. Well, you know, I suppose these things happen, and hopefully, people can learn from this. I don't know. It seems Sony just done goofed. <laughs> so what about those next-gen consoles? Yeah. Um, they they okay. look alright. So what about PlayStation 4? You know, if you gave one to me, I'd take it. I ain't definitely yeah, nice I'd to free, but... Yeah. Anyone planning on getting one? If I had a job, I'd get them both and plug them into each other. Yeah, I um, I was looking at getting one or the other um, to play a certain game called The Division, um, who's oh. a uh, Tom Clancy game. If anybody has heard of it or seen the um, the trailers, but it looks or fantastic. Is, yeah. Um, but they've announced that it's going to PC, so that has saved me uh, four or five hundred dollars on buying a console now because I just play it on my PC. Yeah, look at that. And maybe one day they'll put Halo Three on the PC. Oh, uh, yeah, that was uh, supposedly that was going to be coming this year. We'll see. Supposedly that was going to be coming last year and the year before that. That's always supposedly yeah. coming. I don't know, because um, Microsoft did like kind of a weird thing where Halo is like a it's it's kind of an annual franchise, but it's not. Uh, I think the gist of it is they want something Halo related released every year, and I thought that this year, okay, Halo Three PC, because they had these like anniversary editions and whatever coming out, so I thought this this will be the year that, and nope. Well, who knows. Packs is this weekend, so Halo Three could could be coming. Yeah, I wouldn't mind PC. attending a uh, big convention like that. That'd be a, I think, a memorable thing. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, we we're getting a we're getting one here next month. Is it Pax NZ or is that Pax Oz? No, I mean we're getting Digital Nations. Oh yes, uh, yeah. 
Is anyone going to that? Yeah. We should set up a booth. Uh, well, uh, CO's, like, involved, <laughs> so, like, maybe we'll get something. I hope we'll get something. Maybe we can, uh, maybe we can encourage the viewers by, uh, grabbing some, something off them to give away. Yeah, I was, uh... Break into Theo's house and nick something. We'll nick his favorite pair of pants or something, and we'll give them away to the viewers after signing them. <laughs> yeah, I was hoping we could give away like a VIP ticket, but then they're sold out. And like I'm not even a hundred percent sure what Theo is doing. But yeah. I'm pretty keen. Like a janitor or something? Nah, um they they're having a League of Legends tournament, so I think you can see where that where be connected. Oh, yes, oh. The, the League of Legends tournament he's been going on about. Uh, yeah, it's because um, Bar <laughs> oh, what? It's not Barcraft NZ. <laughs> Company of Gamers is uh, helping out with the event to host uh, the tournament stuff. So, and he's the League of Legends person for uh, for them. So, yes, yeah, so I was we'll in that team that they're uh, putting forward, but I think I've been moved down to sub. Do you know if so, we have uh, we'll a team for the Varsity League? Um, I we do. We've we've currently got four teams set up. Um, the two teams that I am in, uh, one and three. Um, but I think I'm just subbing for one now. I'm not sure if what team they're putting through. Every everyone's practicing. Um, everyone's playing their heart outs, and we're just mashing out um, ranked queues, pretty much, and getting seated and getting comfortable with teams. Um, and I think it's going to come a time in the next couple of weeks where they will actually rank us, all four of us, in line and just say, hey, best one gets to go or something. I'm not sure how Theo is planning on doing it, but I know we currently have four teams ready. And pr and playing and practicing. <clears throat> of course, there's um, always room for new people. So, um, if they want to apply to that, they can log in to the UAV training um, chat room, which is just capital U, capital A, capital V, uh, space training, and they will meet a representative there who will guide them the rest of the way. Okay. Well, I'm I'm glad to hear that things are actually happening with that. So, that's good. Bli, I don't know, RC League and the Digital Nation thing can win both or something. I don't even know if the RC League has started. But, yeah. Esports. It's a thing. Yeah, it's definitely taking off. It's, uh, it's getting up there with the um, the next generation, all, all the uh, younger kids and, and even the teens and early 20s, they're, they're all starting to get into it and it's it's really gathering momentum. Yeah, it's up with the kids, which is cool, I guess. Well, they'll grow into it, hopefully, and, uh, you know, as they mature, they too, they too will join teams and play as well. Yeah, it's a bit unfortunate for me because like, I like watching StarCraft and it's not top dog anymore. It hasn't been top dog for like a year. Oh, I'm sure StarCraft 3 will be here soon enough. Uh, we got one more expansion and then Warcraft 4. So, Warcraft I'm, I'm 4? Sure. Uh, well, I just want them to make it free to play and uh, like they can just put ranked behind a paywall, but Make free to make it free to play. Make unranked free to play, and make custom games free. And I think uh, people will play the game. Yeah, well, that's um, that's what everyone's doing at the moment now. Is uh, it's the whole do you free to play or do you um, put a subscription on it? It's it's 
it's a fine line between keeping the game running and keeping the fans happy. Or in the case of EA. Oh. And in the case of EA, why not both? Uh, like lots of them do both. Like I mean, World of Warcraft is both. It's like double dipping, but yeah. and and World of Warcraft like like the helmets. They they release these cosmetic helmets, and I think they're fifteen US dollars. And uh, I don't know. Like I I didn't mind the pets being like so expensive because it's like pets, but I was hoping the helmets would be like five. Oh well. They've been watching the old El Paso ads. <laughs> Although StarCraft isn't StarCraft is buy to play. It's a retail game. And that's kind of a big problem. Because uh Blizzard makes money the old fashioned way for retail games and there's I don't know, there's some economics involved in why it's not free to play, but hopefully down the road. I mean anyway. I'm 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 sure that if they brought out a free-to-play game and then just said, hey, look, um, due to upkeep, we need a dollar a month for ranked queues or or online play, I'm sure, you know, the million or even the 500,000 people out there who bought the game will say, sweet, here's a dollar, so that they can keep playing it. And then they're still making their... their Five hundred thousand or a million dollars a month that they need to keep the people in R and D going. I, I I don't see why it has to be you know fifteen twenty bucks. Oh, SC is uh, you don't there's no monthly fee. It's yeah. like a <laughs> it's like an old I, days I'm, retail game. The original StarCraft. Yeah, it's like, well, I mean, there's matchmaking. It's like the original Frozen Throne. Yeah, yeah, it's basically <laughs> like that. It's, you know, all, you know when die. you used to go to the when you used to go to the store and you and you used to buy games. Oh, what you could go to the store and buy games. Yeah. Man, just we're go to the store and buy food. Yeah. But in my uh, day. Yeah, back you know, back in my day. In my day, we had to go down to the store to get our games. Still do that a bit. Every really? now and then, it's nice just to get a cardboard box in your hand. Yeah. Uh, I gave up on that long ago. <laughs> I got I got a shelf. <laughs> of my games, so. I hide them in a box. I go into lots of people that pay so much. Oh, I mean, it, the pr- I, my prices vary, but like, I mean, I still buy my console games at retail. So, yeah, consoles there's there's a little less support. I mean, it can still be done, but I think mostly there's a little. It, it's not up to the same as the PC, where you can just buy it and download it straight away. Well, uh, uh, the Xbox One, the Xbox One was going to be. At one point, all digital, <laughs> uh, but uh, that that changed quite fast. So it'll do it. It'll do it when your fans all have their games they want to play. Yeah, get that uh, digital future, I like to call it. Um, uh, do we have more news? Well, I think the problem with the Xbox Online was that there was no real benefits to the people. The reason PC gamers put up with all this crap on Steam about not being able to trade in games and stuff is because we know it's so much cheaper. If Microsoft had come out and we promised it will be cheaper and everyone's going to win from this, maybe people wouldn't have been so upset, but as it stands, it just seemed like gouging. Uh, I think they did want to make it cheaper. They've been having sales um, like... Like from like last Christmas and the summer one they had, they were like pretty good and like maybe not quite Steam level per se, but like I mean there were games for a couple bucks and I I think they want to do it, but 
Uh, we'll see. They actually hired someone from Steam, like one of the people running it. So maybe they'll get into... Well, I think he was hired specifically for PC gaming, so I'm not sure if that will affect sales too much, but I mean, hopefully that will help. So, let's see. What else is in the news? Syria. Miley Cyrus. Oh, man, don't get me started Never on saw Disney that. stars, man. <laughs> I, <never played. laughs> I, I swear they, that and I don't plan to. They go so crazy being cooped up with Disney that as soon as they're released from their contract, they go, like, the full extreme the other way. It's just, it was not pleasant at all, and I want my eight minutes of video time back. Was that eight minutes? It wasn't, well, uh, oh, if you was, watched the whole oh, it was actually quite long. Yeah. she did, it was a good eight to ten minutes, and, and I was doing the same as the other personalities there, you know, staring at the ground, trying not to uh, look up at the screen. Yeah. It was embarrassing. That was funny, seeing all, seeing all those reaction videos. <laughs> oh, yeah, and, and, and the camera kept panning away from Miley because of... <laughs> because of the the camera the, looking at the ground as well. Yeah, no one wanted to look at the stage. <laughs> like, I can just imagine the guy at the behind is telling the cameras, "Go on, zoom on in," and all the cameramen are like, "Yeah, really, rather not." <laughs> I, w I wonder what Robin Thicke was thinking, because I mean, he was right there, and like that dude is like married and has kids. A, a couple of times, like, I swear, I saw his displeasure. <laughs> Uh, anyway, we should. I'm like trying to check the news here, but it's not too much news. I yeah, suppose games were released. Really? Saints Row Five, what, four, yeah. three. What are we on two? Four. It's four. Four. Do, does yeah. anyone does anyone enjoy Saints Row? I mean, it, it's. I it's like a it. I, I mean, I liked game. two and three. I, I never really got like into it. I three. thought it was just too much of a joke. Like, everything was just too exaggerated for me. Especially when it got modded. What about Titanfall? Um, well, Has I anyone mean, seen... It's nice to have a game that doesn't oh. try to be all gritty realistic. And not it's not grey and brown all the time. Yeah, I think, uh, like, I saw a comment somewhere that said, like, uh, GTA is satire of the US, and Saints Row is a parody, so... <laughs> That's a good take one. Take from that what you will, yeah. Yep, there, Saints there, Row sums up just, quite well. I think Saints Row was done while they were sort of high. They were just... They just thought of things that would be funny, and chucked them in there. And they just figured... They looked at games and went... So people enjoy doing these specific things, be it blowing things up or flying. So why do we make a game that's just that start to end with some jokes in there? You know, no grinding, no hanging around, no any from the beginning. No, just drop you in, explosions everywhere, have some fun. And keep it non-linear. That's well, pretty much was... what they did. Yeah. Right, uh, t um, tit Titanfall. Titanfall looks good. Yeah, yeah, it looks Definitely. pretty good. I keep hearing it looks good, and I keep hearing good things about it. And I, yeah. every time I see it, I'm sort of like, uh, this could be just a generic shootery type thing, like we've got so many. But every time people keep saying, oh, it's, it looks good and it plays better, so I'll reserve judgment. I well, mean, games as we go along are always going to look good and play better because, I mean, that's just the way the world's going. But I haven't seen anything this. groundbreaking. I, I've, I've definitely, it definitely looks pretty. And it's, to me, it still feels like a Modern Warfare or a Battlefield 4, but, but uh, it just looks really nice, and I like the addition of mechs. I don't know. It has well, parkour. I think... The I think Everyone's looking at the mechs as the big thing, but I think it's the it's the, the sort of wall running and jetpack yeah. that's truly ingenuitive. 
it's it's the parkour. That's that's the big thing. Uh, like, I watched the Gamescom gameplay video, and it just it looks so crazy jumping around everywhere. Well, I think it's good because you you look at a lot of the modern shooters, and they're also stagnant. You run forwards, you see someone, you right click, look down sights, shoot them, or die or kill them, and run along. There's no broadest tactics. You know, th this would encourage, you know, flanking, and as someone said, you can close on snipers so quickly that sniping doesn't become the ridiculous strategy it is in every other shooter. I just want to yes, see people... Snipers yeah. get better. I just want to see uh, videos of people uh, calling their mechs down on other people. <laughs> I think that, that, that would be cool. That that would, that would just make the game, yeah. human. Especially because like there's a little delay, so I so was I'd see videos where people they don't know where the Titan's coming down, so they just like run in and then, boom. The f the funny thing is when yeah. you cross that massive space to get to that sniper, and he just pulls down a mech and like blows you away. It's like what do you do then? Yeah, well, I mean, then he killed you with a mech. That is an infinite improvement of over being sniped. <laughs> I mean, I'm sick of Battlefield 4 where, like, you go in and there's tanks and there's helicopters and there's three quarters of your team hiding on a hill with sniper rifles. You mean Battlefield 3? 3. There's 4 out. Oh, three. Yeah. 4 oh, is four's coming out. It'll probably out. happen in 4 as well. I'm calling it now. I don't All care I how is... dynamic you make it. Everyone's gonna All be I know the is sniping. Battlefield 3, they ruined the helicopter. Fully ruined helicopters for me. Why? I still haven't played. It just, it's, it's got a weird, like, like, animation. Like, not even the animation, like, the controls. It's just, it's just weird. Like, Battlefield 2 and Battlefield Vietnam, the, the helicopter was so good. Whereas I mean, Vietnam you hardly awesome. get off the. Uh, Vietnam, I, I, I go back to Vietnam all the time. My day in Nam. Yeah, I played that with my friends. That was that was, you like five of you, like a hundred, met um, clinically retarded bots. Honestly, that was the best two to three years of my life. In gaming, of I course. I mean, what I found hilarious was I was playing Battlefield Three. And every time you get in a helicopter with someone, they just fly it into the map, crash it, and keep going. And you're like, why, why the fuck did you do that? That's like a waste of a helicopter. One time, I got in the helicopter as a gunner, and the guy who flew it was amazing, did all these brilliant strafing runs, and in the end, he accidentally crashed it, and he apologized. He literally apologized to me. And I felt by, like saying back, don't apologize. That was literally the best flying I've ever seen anyone do, being the fact that it's the only flying I've seen anyone do. So yeah, yeah, I think they probably definitely did something wrong with the helicopters. I haven't even played Battlefield 3. I only just got it because of that humble bundle. And then I looked at the download and it's 20 gigs and I'm like, ugh. Oh, I bought that <laughs> humble bundle. I was like, give me the Steam keys, Origin, go away. Yeah, I got someone to give me an uh, Origin key for the Crisis. So... That'll be the first Crisis game I've ever played. I I played some of The Sims because I I haven't played that in I don't know a very long time, and I don't know like I I made a house and that was cool, and then I started playing the game and it wasn't wasn't so good. <laughs> I, I like I like making the the, the things like that's fun, but. It's, uh, I don't know. All new Sims house building simulator. Yeah. yeah, man. Like I make, I make like a nice sized kitchen, and <laughs> I make a living area, and I, I, I like made a deck. Oh, it's great, man. It has like good no, no, You just, you, you, you throw a pool party, build a big swimming pool, you delete the ladder after everyone's in there. No problem. Well, the problem is the game itself is like I don't like. You have like. You don't have a lot of control when you play The Sims. So. Well, do you want them to sh 
shit themselves in command. No, I, I want to, like, run around. <laughs> like, third person. I think person. the longer <laughs> the Sims have gone on, the less control they've given you. Yeah, I think so. You used to have to do a lot. But also, I think... They should make it so you can go to uh, FPS it's... mode. Um, we'll see, Sims 4, eh? But, anyway, enough about the Sims. Because, or, or maybe just house building simulator, whatever. Uh, I notice you have the uh, Elder Scrolls, $15 yes. a month. Yeah. Yes, next topic I thought we'd talk about. Free-to-play or subscription-based MMO? W- what do you reckon? Now, I... I... I still play WoW every now and again, so um, like I I think it's worth it because I like it, but um, I'm not I, I don't know if Elder Scrolls will be successful with its monthly fee. I sort of I think mean, yeah. the issue I've got um, yeah, it's the Elder Scrolls, yeah, it's Fifteen dollars a month, which is which is normal. Like that's the standard yeah. price that people charge if you do a, so if you do a subscription. Now, the problem is there is so many free-to-play MMOs out there now. Why? What's the gimmick to get people to stop playing free-to-play and sub to your game w- without you know you doing something awesome? And as far as I can tell. Outer Skulls really don't have that yet. They, they, all, all the stuff I've seen for them, I mean, it looks like a fantastic game. Uh, it probably does crafting different and boss fights different to other games. I'm sure they've, you know, put new stuff in the game that we haven't seen before, but is that going to be enough to get enough people to sub to it to keep them alive? Uh, I'm not really sure. Uh, the thing I heard was that they might, they might want the, they want people to buy the game sub, and then maybe six to twelve months later, free to play. Yeah, well, I mean, Rift did it, um, and I mean, Rift had quite a big player base when it first started. Um, the problem was. And the same with Star Wars. Um, they just could not roll out the content fast enough for all the people subscribing. So once the people got to that in level cap, they did a couple of the raids and, and they were sitting there and the next patch wasn't for three months. People were like, okay, we'll sub again in three months. And then, you know, by that time, they've played two months of another game you, you've got to really put some effort into your next patch to get them back because they've stopped playing your game. So, I mean, it's it's whether you have people constantly playing your game and getting more attached to it or whether you just get that sub every couple of months when you release a patch. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, Old Republic launch with a sub because they were going head to head well they thought they could go head to head with WoW um, but like that, I suppose the era of a paid MMO probably is gone and I mean if, if Blizzard is even talking about like Titan possibly not having a monthly fee then I think y- you need to reconsider how you kind of do your monthly fees but um I mean, WoW's yeah. been losing. WoW's been losing uh, subscribers pretty quickly, and yeah, I think you're gonna find that with this Elder Scrolls game, as with all these other WoW MMOs, it's gonna be good. It's gonna have nothing wrong with it, and it's just gonna be so generic that everyone's gonna forget about it. Like um, Warhammer Online. I think I it's think gonna War- be something like that. Warhammer had problems though, and WoW WoW still has quite a lot of people playing. Oh yeah, yeah. the The problem with WoW is they had such an inflated player base that they can lose, you know, eighty percent of their player base and still break even. Yeah, I think it. The 
like it will still be viable until like maybe half a million, and I think it's still over eight. So yeah, I mean it was the big MMO. I suppose well, it's kind of weird because it was the big huge one, and then it's kind of in a way the last big huge MMO, the one and only one. I still think it's the MMO. I mean, like, yes, it's getting old. The graphics are looking... I mean, uh, the Pandaren graphics are quite nice, but um, it's it's still... It, it feels a little dated, like, when you play it. Um, but, yeah, it's still the big one. Uh, I don't mm. think anyone... Any, even the free-to-play ones have a, such a consistent player base as big as well. I think the thing is well, too that uh, Blizzard has they've got they've they've been doing it so long that they they can pump out content so fast now, and they know what they're doing. Yeah, it's like there's like a pipeline and like I suppose the visual like production process achievement whatever, but. Yeah, I, I suppose that's what happens. Uh, you were saying? I'd have to say that uh, the what was it? The free to play MMO that recently updated itself. I saw some ads up for it. Uh, I think it was in Australia. Uh, RuneScape. Oh, that's quite old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that that's old. That's the only yeah, MMO uh, I've ever played. They did it. The, they just recently updated RuneScape, didn't they? Isn't there a number two or or it's a three. redone one like or something three. that just came out uh, earlier this year? It's RuneScape three or yeah. HD or something like that. I remember playing that in high school, and I got past the tutorial, and I died and lost all my items and said, oh, "Fuck this." <laughs> I can remember stopping halfway the tutorial because I wanted to uh, just chop wood, and I got my wood chopping to like almost max in, in the tutorial, and I was just like, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm doing this. this I've got a second window open. I'm just chopping wood. I should play yeah, some Animal of... Crossing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have thought about it. And I have honestly never played it, um, and I wouldn't have a clue about Animal Crossing at all, but uh, most of the reports I've heard have been good about it. I think I'm a little old for it, though. <laughs> nah, yeah, you're, not so you're sure never... after I'm a demo, target demo. You're never too old for Animal Crossing. Also, that's an interesting game. That, that game is primarily about paying off your debt, uh, just like real life. To, <laughs> I might have to look into that. It yeah, might, really. yeah. I mean, might you get be a nice mortgage. to play real life for once. You get a mortgage, and... It's 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 really it's weird if you think about it, but I I mean I haven't played the newest one, but yeah. Uh, I, next year you're gonna tell me it's days. educational. Um, I mean you're buying and selling stuff. Do some math. All right, all right. Card gaming. Everybody likes a good TCG, right? Yeah. Um, Blizzard just bought out Hearthstone. Yeah. Um, um, it's pretty much a word-for-word -word copy of the World of Warcraft card game. Looks flashy, oh, yeah. um, but still in closed beta. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, I haven't played any TCG since Magic back in high school, but uh, it's something... I'd be really keen on if there was a tablet app. Because I think that's... If you're going to play TCGs, I think tablets, that's where you do it. i got to agree with you on that yeah, one. Ma yeah, Magic had uh, has a tablet, and I played so much of that when I had uh, on my uh, dad's iPad. Though, uh, the, running the graphics, it heated it up so badly. Yeah, uh, Doors of the Planeswalkers. It's on iPad, and they... The, I think the 2013 or 14 one, they released on Android as well, but I don't know, it's like not the full game yet you can kind of make a deck but man, I just I hope we get like a good TCG tablet and it's popular, that would that'd be cool I'm glad you brought that up uh, 
Another game that's um, in open beta right now is called Infinity Wars. It's pretty much a magic kind of game. Um, takes a lot of the magic components and puts it into a game. Um, I can also give out free codes if anyone needs one. Um, and it is coming to tablet. Uh, they plan on releasing it first to PC and then crossover to tablet uh, about four months afterwards. It's, it's created by a company called Lighthouse, I believe, in Australia. And it's looking very, very promising. Um, all the card art moves. Um, it's all um, very nicely illustrated and, and stuff like that. And there's a lot of flavor text. And I don't know about you, but uh, I really enjoyed flavor text when I was playing Magic. And I had quite a few decks that were based on flavor text. And I uh, would sit there and bore my opponents to death reading flavor text. But yeah, it was, it was a fantastic pastime. Yeah, I, I just went to a website. It's Lightmare Studios. Lightmare, yeah, that's, quite, that's yeah, right. That's a weird name. Well, but yes, it's fantastic, and I recommend anyone who got hooked on Magic to, uh, if they're looking for a card game, to check that one out. Hmm. Yeah, it says vote for us on green light, so... Yep, um, it can be accessed straight away if anyone wants. They can email me on barak666 gmail.com and uh, just email me with your username and I can give you through a beta key. I have uh, roughly about 40 or 50 keys left. Huh. Okay. Um... So, any uh, anything else? Hmm. Anyone hear that story of that eight-year-old kid who shot his grandma in the United States after playing GTA 4? Okay, that's bullshit. That is utter bullshit. That is a terrible excuse. I, I understand that and he might have done it after playing that game, but I, I, I doubt they're related more than, two, the, more than two degrees. Yeah, that's just... Like it was a few minutes... Like it, I'm just gonna say that apparently it was a few minutes afterwards, and he like yeah shot her in the head. Yeah, I think what it was it a kid or something. I think that kid was probably a lot more screwed up than having than playing GTA. That is a he was eight years old. Yeah, that's some. I think that's some like media twisting the story a little. And, you know, correlation does not imply causation, whatever. I, I think the, I think the sole main reason that he uh, shot her in the head was the fact that there was a gun that he could access, and he was eight. Yeah, what's up with that? I, I mean, don't think I'd ever trust... If you have guns in your house, you need to lock them up. Unloaded. Yeah. Also, don't give eighteen, don't give R eighteen games to an eight year old. Just general rule. Yeah, that's a good. Well, I mean, they've ratings on the box. That's what they're for. <laughs> Not decoration. They're, they, no, they're part of the box art. Oh, jeez. Sometimes I wish I could remove those damn uh, ratings because they look quite bad. They look bad, but they're there for a reason, and yeah. without that reason, we would be quite lost. Well, I, I kind of just wish they were stickers so I could remove them. Oh yeah, of course. If you if you're into collecting like your box art and stuff like that, this, it'd be nice if they put the stickers on the plastic packaging, not the uh, box itself. Yeah. Well, I mean, even with that, um, just the 
the Australia New Zealand ratings, uh, like the Australia ones in particular, are huge and they take up space. The ESRB ones, the US ones, they aren't they aren't too bad. They're quite small, but first world problems. <laughs> Well, the Australian rating system's still fucked up. Oh, yeah, uh, the, the Saints Row 4 thing. How, uh, I, th I think the drug use made it banned, and then it's back, and it's MA15. It's not R18, it's MA15. I think GTA is also MA15, not R18. Weird. Luckily, uh, our officers are quite are much more reasonable. I think both get a straight R18 because we have that rating here, and we don't ban things unless they're like cannibal holocaust or something like that. <laughs> That's a thing. Don't look it I up. Played, I, oh crap! <laughs> <laughs> That's a movie. Don't look. Yeah. Oh, it's a movie, not a game. Yeah, it's a movie. Don't look it up. No, it's an M no, it's an MMO. No. Can't cannibal holocaust be in the MMO? <laughs> num num. That's the tagline. <laughs> oh my god, that's terrible. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to check the news a little bit more. Uh, AKA just check Reddit. Um, <laughs> oh, Reddit's so good for, for information. Oh, like, yeah, sometimes... A... Yeah. Sometimes I uh, really a... love Reddit. And uh, sometimes I really yeah. hate it. There's a topic. Where does everyone get their information from? Um, Reddit, Polygon, Joystick. I like rock, paper, scissors, and joystick. Rock, paper, shotgun, you rock, mean? Rock, paper, scissors. Uh, yeah, rock, paper, shotgun, my bad. It's, it's getting late. Yeah. yeah. I, I like that one because, yeah, it's uh, PC exclusive, so and it has all those uh, free games because it's PC, which has free games because it's PC. Because PC is great like that. Yeah. And internets. Uh, I also go to the uh, the, ape the what? Of zero punctuation fame. Uh, the escapist. Uh, the escapist is he's just he's just blatantly awesome. Uh, they they're pretty much most best known for the, uh, zero punctuation. Yeah, they have a couple of it. Watch like uh, the the movie stuff. Cynical um, Brush is awesome as well. Yes and no. I think he's a bit. He can be a bit too full of himself. He can be an asshole sometimes, man. <laughs> he can, but that's why we love him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, also Kotaku. Uh, I think is that how this is. They're I, okay. I find Kotaku to be hit and miss quite a, a quite yeah. a bit. They're either on or they're off. Yeah, there's like a yeah. They're, they're some quite of the easy stories though, they do. All the articles. Yeah. Well, it, it's just like they're owned by Gawker, and Gawker is known for doing some questionable things as a media organization. I think Kotaku is probably one of the better ones, but oh, yeah, yeah, like I suppose I wouldn't recommend their other properties like Gawker or Jezebel. That's quite bad. Lifehacker is all right. <laughs> got those. Got to get those productivity tips. Uh, <laughs> uh, the other one is um. Gamer Sutra? Uh, yeah, that's the industry one. 
Yeah, that 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 one's good just because you get a different perspective. What's this opened capture? Oh, it's like a photo. Oh, it's eh? a screenshot thing. I clicked it by accident. Okay. I was yeah, going to say, what, what the hell was that little dink? Uh, whenever something happens, there's like a little ding. I don't know <laughs> if uh, people... I'm not sure if like uh, you can actually hear that if you're like not... if it's like being broadcast or anything, but... Oh, here we go. Hmm. I suppose there are a couple stories here. Um, there's PS4 basically just having active downloads. There's a bit. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> it's like. Yeah. I mean, it will wake up your. It will, it will wake up the console, and that's great. But like, guys, I could buy games on my 360 and do that. Yeah, I, I remember. I remember reading that. It just wakes up, downloads, and then goes back to sleep. It's like uh, that's kind of cool, but I mean, really, is is it that important? We have that on PC. I, don't know. I think just actually not really, but I mean, you can do a remote thing, but it's it's a different experience. Oh, okay. Yeah, this hat thing is playing working. a game when it's remote. <laughs> <laughs> I think the lighting. Um, but <laughs> who needs to get your little flashlight to sit on your keyboard? Yeah, I think so. Make it look like a ghost story. Uh, let's see. What else here? Phil Harrison. Absolutely no plans for, at all, for an Xbox One without Connect, which I actually think is a good idea. Because that is like the only thing that differentiates that thing from and Halo. Oh yeah, I mean games too, but like there we go. Oh fuck! Oh, oh that's go. awesome. <laughs> there you go. Wait, what? Is is that a real hat? Yeah, I'm graduating. <laughs> oh my god, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I'm gonna have to mute myself for a second. <laughs> that suits you more. We are. <laughs> why, why are we so easily amused? Oh, it's late at know. night. How many? How, how many reasons do you need? Oh, you can. Oh, you can stack about... them. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I, I apologize it's that time to anyone watching this. I think it's that time of the stream, guys. I apologize yeah. for everyone involved. Yeah, I don't think this went too badly. I mean, I think I have a better solution instead of adding people to the UAV account. I think I'll um, I'll make a community that people can join, and I think I can just add people from there. But I think the discussion was good. I think we did good. Back on topic. We'll definitely uh, definitely need to maybe make notes next time. Yeah, maybe. Unless we're yeah, talking br about... Bring a bit of a... Everyone has to bring a topic. Yeah, we need to get more people on this too. I'll make a... Or we could start creating little segments yeah. so that like someone does new news, someone does like game review or something. Game review, so quite. Well, has anyone played any games? I played LOL. They want a review? That's not LOL. That's not LOL. Uh, uh, I played some Assassin's Creed 2 because they it... gave it away for free. Oh my god. Well, Assassin's free. Creed Black Flag. Oh, that Give looks good. 
Give it to yeah. me now. Oh. Did you see the video, the parkour video, where they had someone dress up as uh, the main character and just run through Comic Con? No, I did not. Oh, you should. Oh, it's ooh, good it's, video. Yeah. Um. Okay. If we can try this uh, feature. Okay. Okay. What are you trying to do? Um, I think there's something here where you can like watch YouTube videos together. Oh, that sounds sweet. Who's bringing the popcorn? I'm not that screen share. Oh, don't, don't talk about food. I'm starving. I missed dinner for this. Just click on YouTube on the side on the left side. Oh yeah, yeah. Does it? It's watch YouTube. Videos. <laughs> okay. Can you hear me? Except. Yes. Yeah, we can hear you. No, oh, it's just got along the top. It says it sounds like you're typing, so we muted your mic. And it's 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 very thoughtful. Oh, yeah, it has that. Dink. Oh, I heard a dink. Well, apparently, YouTube needs my permission. Yeah. Um, wait, I have the link. I think just stay on the call. I think it should work. This is an amazing video. I have to say.
Yeah, so... Did everyone wow, see that? That? Just, that just makes me want to cosplay. Yeah, and do some parkour. Which I think would be very difficult. <laughs> but, yeah, that... Well, it's looking quite good. And uh, props to the marketing team as well, I suppose. So, um, is that about it? Yeah, I think uh, I think that's about it for me tonight. I'll okay. eat something. Well, thanks, everyone. Nothing to do. I mean, <laughs> let's end on a light <laughs> note. Yeah. But, thanks, everyone, if you watched this. There are a lot of pauses. We'll work on it, I think. Um, We're new to this. Yeah. We're sorry. And we'll try to get more people. Have to on. start somewhere. If you if you want to, if you want to come on, just uh, I think I'll post something on the Facebook group or something. How to? Yeah, yeah. Also, tips and tricks are welcome. Yeah, and well, I do we if need? If you think you can do better, you. Yeah. Do we need tips and tricks? I mean, this uploads direct to YouTube. Which is the I whole mean, point like, of this. to help us go smoothly. Oh, yeah. That'd be great, too. I wish I had some theme music. Yeah, yeah. Comment on... Comment on... <laughs> comment on YouTube. That always did something. Mm. That always fixes problems. Yay. I don't have a light source. But. I love the tiara, man. Sweet, sweet. Yeah. Definitely tiara is better. Oh, well, there we go. Oh, and the love. Yeah, love hearts. Yeah. It's sweet, sweet. It's Actually, wait, I, have, I think I have to hold this. That's a bit better. Like <laughs> both. <laughs> oh, we lost our like one viewer. We <laughs> had a viewer. <laughs> yeah, we had one viewer. Holy crap! <laughs> I didn't think anyone would actually watch this. Jeez, I probably shouldn't have signed up for it then. Uh, maybe someone else will watch it too. Um, but maybe, they, maybe it was an accident. <laughs> well, I posted it on the group, so. Oh, here's here's the solution to our sound issue. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah we, we, we need that to auto start, like when there has been a pause for longer than five seconds. Uh, drop it down to three. Are we gonna just keep watching? <laughs> Are we just I, I keep think watching that's gonna this? be it. The next half an hour will be yep. faces brought to us by our host. <laughs> Yep. Okay. We'll see you guys. Uh, what's what's a good sign off? Get the fuck out. Yeah. This is uh, the UAV podcast, and get the fuck out.